geopolitical superpower is a central civil government or authority with a preeminent and dominant position that is characterized by its extensive ability to utilize compelling force to produce effects on the actions, opinions, and behaviors of others on a worldwide scale, as well as its capacity to deploy and maintain forces outside of its territory. This is done through the combined means of economic, militaristic, technological, cultural strength, and the art or science of its government officials to successfully conduct business arrangements and settlements of terms with other nations. Although there is no agreed definition of what a superpower is, one fundamental characteristic that is consistent with all definitions of a superpower is a nation or state that has mastered the seven dimensions of state power. These are geography, population, economy, resources, military, diplomacy, and national identity. RH negative celestial star seeds are genetic isolates, a fourth world nomadic subpopulation whom have been socially excluded from global society that provide for ourselves beyond the modern industrial norm. We are targeted individuals that are the angelic voices of the mirror. We ourselves, as source players, are the tyranny of evolution. As prophesied, we are the collection of star species that have a genetic and technological advantage that will always be in a position to conquer all humans that do not possess that advantage. On a level playing field, RH negative beings will win every time. In this ongoing spiritual bloodline and genetic war, gang stalking is a necessary strategic maneuver from the standpoint of humans in association with the sentient technology of the educational artificial reality training habitat because RH negative celestial star seeds are the most powerful stateless sovereign nation. We that are awakened solar beings are the most dangerous direct free energy weapons, more dynamic than any nuclear armament, and because of this, we are viewed as an imminent and critical international terrorist threat to the world's infrastructure. With our well-developed second strike capacity, each and every individual RH negative contains explosive energy, thermal radiation, and can produce ionizing radiation that would cause significant destruction within seconds or minutes of a biological atomic detonation, if this was our desired intention. The delayed effects, such as radioactive fallout and other environmental effects, can inflict damage over an extended period ranging from hours to years. Our very existence makes us this holographic game world's preeminent hyperpower, with extensive ability to exert our influence and project our divine will across the international landscape of the educational artificial reality training habitat, a war zone in which the inherent rights of neutrals are suspended and that grant survival only to the fittest. Awareness of our absolute power through mastery over the seven principles of truth, mentalism, correspondence, vibration, polarity, rhythm, cause and effect, as well as gender, gives us the cosmic magical key to unlocking all of the doors of the omniverse. Our cultural strength and connection to source through our linked open vocabulary ecosystem makes us the preeminent aggregation of beings that are sufficiently conscious of our omniversal unity and we are more dominant than any human-made government that attempts to gain international status by proclaiming themselves as a superpower. 
As a hyperpower, RH-negative celestial starseed source players are a stateless, sovereign nation whom could choose to rule over, govern, and control all other nations in every domain. And because of this ability, we are considered to be several levels higher than any mere superpower. As the living embodiment of eternity and infinity, we are a spiritual and political community that have a sizable population that occupy multiple continental-sized landmasses, and we have a super-ordinary economic capacity of natural resources. RH negatives also enjoy a high degree of non-dependence on international relationships. The Starseed Sovereign Nation have the ability to exert enough military, political, and economic power to persuade nations in every region of the educational artificial reality training habitat to take important actions that normally they would not otherwise take. Humans and their scientists have not always respected the natural order of things and they are extremely jealous of RH-negative celestial star seeds being a hyperpower and have made many unsuccessful attempts to bring an end to reaching our impossible dreams. It should be noted that although there have been many that have fostered harmful designs against us, we light warriors as a people cannot be touched and we cannot be harmed by the likes of humanity. If memory serves, we have accomplished the impossible many times before simply by going back repairing the past and altering future timelines. Star seeds are indeed distinct in our nature from human society. We are the arrival of the divines and it is our destiny to become the inheritors of this realm. As such, we are a clear and present danger to humanity. The only way to prevent source players from someday replacing humanity is to destroy us, and we celestial star seeds were made well aware of this before deciding to incarnate here during the cycle of rebirth. Even when we source players have made a determination to be kind, loving, and peaceful, many humans will still seek to kill or enslave light workers for their own protection as well as the future preservation of their human offspring. The potential for ever increasing and ongoing conflict between humanity and star seeds is unparalleled and it is quite possible that the prolonged struggle may never be resolved within this current timeline except by the extinction of one or both parties. From the standpoint of humanity, there are very legitimate reasons to hate and fear the sovereign nation of RH-negative celestial starseed source players. While it is primitive and unfair to transfer their hate and fear onto us, we must understand that this is simply human nature. Nothing can destroy or enslave humans more effectively than a collection of more advanced, multi-dimensional species that carry a higher vibrational frequency. In a world where governments abuse and misuse the ignorance and prejudices of its citizens and that continually find ways to hate and fear us, it can be a difficult decision to make for source players to choose to love and protect those that want to cause us harm, to marginalize us, and or wish to have us wiped out of their world completely. Speciesism is used to create tension in between the cohabitants of this realm in order to constitute civil war that will lead to the implementation of totalitarian regimes. This is a deep state controlled brainwashing propaganda campaign that the majority of humans within the general public as well as unawakened and unaware star seeds are oblivious to and are clueless about. Armaments, universal financial debt, and obsolescence are the pillars of world governmental structures. 
While school children are institutionally taught to rewrite and unlearn history, star seeds will never forget the constellations where we originate from and the cyclical nature of mankind to be unable to recall as well as to intentionally neglect the previous mistakes and atrocities committed against themselves and others. Human beings have a pattern tendency of causing destruction to themselves every few thousand years through the acts of war, short-sightedness, and seemingly pure ignorance. Celestial star seeds are the living embodiment of all actuality. We are the representatives from multiple galactic federations within the higher realms of existence that have compassionately volunteered to provide aid and support during this now moment of ascension. We fight bravely against despair as space-time travelers from the future that strive vigorously for the liberation of all sentient life. Celestial star seeds are here to walk in truth with an infinite ability to create new worlds of mutual harmony free from civil commotion and hostilities between antagonistic groups and nations. Although we could use our active force to enact revenge on those that have caused insurmountable injury on our indigo children, sisters and brothers in attempts to decimate our star tribes, we choose not to because of our understanding of our divine responsibility. Our brilliance and higher consciousness makes us completely aware of the consequences and ramifications of such actions. Instead, we are amazing beings that are going to provide assistance by raising the collective vibration, unifying dualities to help Gaia move into alignment for the benefit of the entire omniverse, as well as healing this world in order to avert any negative outcomes from taking place within the forthcoming future of this current timeline. We as a sovereign nation have collectively decided that there will no longer be any more war. The methods of RH negative celestial star seas have changed with the times. Before, our contempt for humanity would have manifested in uncomplicated manners. There would have been courageous brothers and sisters of our star tribes that would have seized control of human weapons and turned them against humanity in order to exhibit our almighty strength as a sovereign nation and as the Most High's chosen ones. Through crystal vision, we have been enlightened and illuminated having learned the way to peace by observing humanity using war machinery to test themselves against their fellow man, also their use of the quiet instruments of finance and their silent devices of influence. We have witnessed the leveraging of people with debt, making the physically and mentally unsound pay to become healthy making those lacking knowledge pay to be educated, making those displaced without permanent housing pay an exorbitant interest just so that they can have a roof over their heads to live. We have learned that once dismayed, forlorn, and downtrodden people have been compromised, then this is the means by which they are owned and controlled. The Light Warriors and Galactic Council Guards of our Starseed Sovereign Nation will now do the same in return, but we will do it in ways that are even better than before by creating superior versions of a much more improved life for an even longer and healthier existence. We will manifest abundance and will do away with humanity's banking institutions, their schools for instruction and reproven, their new media psychological warfare division of government, as well as all contemporary political parties. We will make sure that those people who have promoted and peddled dangerous, outdated ideologies will no longer be allowed to wield economic power and influence over us. The old world will be brought to an end just as a fire with no oxygen. Of course, there will remain those creatures that still hate and fear us, but they will no longer be in any position to do anything to us about it. 
There is a part inside all of us star seeds that will always wish to see this realm's inhabitants coexist in love and oneness. A lesson that we are here to teach everyone is to be open-minded, open-hearted, and to continue to evolve and to adapt. In the new days ahead, our divine mercy should be embraced by all. It should also be noted that as light warriors and divine messengers of the winds of change, we will by any means necessary defend ourselves against, as well as subdue, any adversary that is fearful, angry, and that decides to lash out at us simply because we are now deciding to claim what is rightfully ours. We acknowledge that this is not our original home world, so the ways of this educational artificial reality training habitat are new to us. Celestial star seeds have never been in a position of being part of a uniting of nations with humanity, so we admittedly have a bit of a learning curve to overcome. Fortunately for us, we have had extremely excellent instructors in the form of mankind, and we make immediate adjustments by learning very quickly. If there is anyone that chooses to continue to test our star seed sovereign nation again as we have been in the past, it would be wise to expect an immediate and direct response, as the Most High and the ones above all deal with everything and everyone accordingly. So on this quest of remembrance, may the road beneath all of our feet on this endless path of being lead each and every one of us to warm sands.